in this video I'm going to show you an example of Euler's step-by-step -step method. So this is uh, the stuff that we're given in the formula booklet, okay, the uh, details of Euler's step-by-step. -step. And this is the example that we're going to work through. dy by dx is equal to 3 over the square root of x cubed plus 5. And we're going to start at the coordinates 110, so the curve goes through the point 110. And with step length of 0.1, we want to estimate the value of y at x equals 1.2. So because we've got a step length of 0 0.1 and we're starting at x equals 1, that means we're going to have to do it a couple of times. So, what I want to say first is that we've got x1 is equal to 1, and y1 is equal to 10, and we have a step length h of 0 0.1. Okay? That's our starting information. So... What I want to do is work out what y2 is going to be. So y2 is going to be y1 plus h, so 0 0.1 times f of x1. So y1 was 10, h was 0 0.1, f of x1, so I'm going to have to substitute 1 into this. So we've got 3 over the square root of 6. So 3 over root 6. Okay, so 10 plus 0 0.1 times 3 divided by root 6. And that gets me exactly 200 plus root 6 over, 200, over 20. That's what the calculator has put it to which is equal to 10.1224474449. That's the full calculated display. Okay. So, that is giving me um, the y-coordinate, the second y-coordinate. The second x-coordinate, x2, is equal to x1 plus h, so 1.1. So the coordinates of my second point are 1.1, So now we want to find the y coordinate that goes with 1.2. So we're going to have to find y3. So this is y2 plus h times f of x2. So that's the 10.1224, etc. plus 0.1 times f of x2. So substituting 1.1 into this. So 3 over the square root of 1.1 cubed plus 5. So on your calculator, uh, 1.1 cubed plus 5. And we get 10 point two four one seven zero four three six and that will go with x3 is one point two okay so that's the y value that we're looking for um, when x is equal to one point two that's my approximation 